Hey guys, and welcome to this Hoop Plus Fit video for seniors. I'm Scarlett, and in this video we're going to work at a slow and steady pace, mostly with the arms, but still engaging the core. Um, it's a nice, gentle practice. We're going to do a bit of stretching. I'll go through all the moves that you are going to do in the workout, and then we do the workout together. If you like this video and you want to find out more about my online courses, please click on the link below. But for now, let's get started. So thanks for joining me today guys. Remember you can do this standing or sitting. If you're standing you can have your feet hip width apart or together. And take your arms up and over, right up to the sky. You can keep them in this kind of T shape or bring them in a V shape, whichever feels best for you right now. So you can bring your hands back here and we want to open up the shoulders, tuck your shoulders down and bring your hands back down to your sides. And we'll do that again. Arms stretching up to the sky, thin as you stretch up and then bring your arms back down to your sides. Okay, fantastic. So next we're going to take our arms out to the side and you want to take your right arm over your left and give yourself a big hug as you breathe into the backs of your shoulders. You can equally just hold onto your arms rather than your back if that's not available to you. And then bring your arms out to the side and then this time left arm over right arm as you give yourself a great big hug before we start our workout. Excellent. And breathe in this position. Then break free, arms back to the side, breathe in and we're going to take the left arm across your chest and then your right arm across your chest. And the right arm is out to the side and vice versa. Remember to breathe steadily in this position as you alternate your arms and then bring both out to the side and down. So next we want to bring our neck down to the side on the left and do a semicircle to the right and then back again. Remember to breathe in this position, breathe in as your ear is by your shoulder and out as your head goes down forwards. And we'll take it to the left one more time. And then to the center and up. Now remember to be gentle with your body. Next we're going to work on our shoulders. And we're going to take them back and we take them up to our ears and down. If you know that you have a problem with your shoulders, then this might not be the best move for you. But we really want to work to open and warm up our shoulders. So let's reverse the direction. So bring them up towards your ears and then down and around. Okay, and next we're going to take a whole arm. So leading with your baby fingers, but I'm pulling our arms back in large circles. Remember to go at your own pace here. And then we reverse the direction. Great work, guys. Big circles, arms going forwards. So next we're going to work on our hips, so if you're sitting down you can just chill out for this one. Uh, we're going to have our feet hip width apart and rotate at the hips. We want to keep our legs kind of straight as we're doing this so we can really feel it in our hip joints. And then we want to reverse the direction. Again, if you know that you have problems with your hips then best to sit this one out too. Remember, always work within the realms of what you feel comfortable with doing. Okay, so next we're going to stretch out our lower back again. I'm going to turn to the side. If you're on a chair, you can have your hands on your knees, but otherwise you can uh, stand like this. As you breathe in, you want to arch your back and chest up to the sky, and then exhale and round your back like a cat. Breathe in, chest to the sky, and then to neutral, and then back up. Okay, fantastic. Now we're going to rotate our wrists in one direction. You can choose whichever feels good for you because we reverse it as usual. Once you're done with the wrists, shake it out and then let's grab our hoops. So today the focus is on our arms so we can use a light hoop. 
This one is 85 centimeters or 33 inches and it is 16 millimeters in thickness or 5 eighths of an inch. A light child's hoop will work perfectly fine but if you want a further workout you can use something heavier, whatever you're comfortable with. So I want to go through just a few things. We're going to be lifting the hoop above our head like this. If you feel that this is not available to you, remember you can always just lift the hoop um, halfway or whatever feels comfortable for you. So we're also going to bring the hoop to this halfway position. You can see here that my thumb is on top uh, and I'm really using it to control the hula hoop here and that will give you a lot more support when we're doing these kinds of moves. I take it into the other hand, you can see again the thumb is on top. When I pass between the hula hoops, both of my wrists face upwards. If we do that, you can see it's made it really awkward. So if you have your wrist facing up, it's a great position to bring your arms out and get that stretch and that movement going. So if it's not available to lift your arm all the way, remember you can just bring it to the side like this. And you can do this seated or standing. So we take the hoop in our right hand over our head, grab with the left, and then bring it down to the side and meet the right hand. Take it back up with the left hand, and then now down with the right. So let's reverse it again. Up both hands together, down with the left hand, and then both hands together again, and then down with the right. Fantastic. One more time, up and over, down together, and then up and over, and then hands down together. Fantastic. Now I bring the hula hoop up, my left hand is on top, my right hand is inside the hoop, but also on top of it. I'm gonna push with my left hand at the top and lift my right hand up. Now my right hand is on the top, and I push the hula hoop and lift my left hand up. So we continue with this move, and we let the hula hoop slide. The speed of the hula hoop falling will depend on how tight your grip is. So if you have a tight grip, it goes slowly, and a loose grip, the hula hoop will fly forward. Okay, next we want to put, uh, rearrange our hands. So our hands are now flat against the hula hoop, and we want to push as we try and keep the hula hoop in the same space as it is. Um, now my hands are on 3 and 9 o'clock, and then are up to 6 and 12 o'clock. And then we bring it back down to the middle, the halfway point, and then back one hand on top, one hand underneath. So we try that again to the halfway point, and then one on top, one underneath. Here, I'm not holding onto the hula hoop super tight, but more pushing my hands against it, without pushing so hard to change the shape, but pushing in a way that I can maintain the hula hoop in this space. Okay, fantastic. So now we want to turn our hands, so our hands are on the outside, both wrists facing in together, and we're going to bring the hula hoop to our right hand side like we're pulling a bow and arrow. Then we take it in a circle around to the left and all the way over. So it's a big circle with the hula hoop. We reverse our direction, get used to both sides, and then back over again. So we're going to take it to the bottom, over the top, whole circle and then reverse it again. You don't want your grip to be too high, tight. I'm holding it in my fingers right now but you can equally hold it in your hands but like I said don't grab the hoop too tight and have a nice loose grip. Okay now we bring the hula hoop back to our front where we want to readjust our grip and our position. We want to feel strong here. Hold the hula hoop in front of you, full arm extension, and feel it in your core as you bring it up to the sky. Again, hula hoop down, and you really want to feel your stomach muscles actually powering this movement as you bring the hoop forward and then up. You can bring your gaze up to the sky or keep it fixed in one point. Hula hoop to the front again, and then take it to the left. Breathe in there, and then take it to the front. Breathe in here, and then exhale as you twist. You can have your feet together like mine, hip width apart, or like I said, you're perfectly welcome to do this action seated. Remember not to overstretch. If your twist is just comes to here, that's absolutely fine. Take it to the front, and then to the other side. Remember to work with what's comfortable to you, and that this twist coming from your core will help protect your spine. 
So for the next move, we are going to take it up, but we need to readjust our hands. So if we bring our hands now to the inside of the hula hoop, wrist facing out, and we bring the hula hoop up to the sky, and then down with a twist. Bring it back up to its original position. And if remember, if you're sitting down for this, you can just do this movement here where you keep your arms up to the sky and twist up here. If you're standing, you can do it with me, and we bring it down with the twist and then back up. Now we twist up here with everyone and then bring it down with the twist and then back up again. One more twist up here, you can do it and then bring it back down. Fantastic! Remember you can keep your hips and legs together as we do this twist or we can bend the alternating legs as we move into this move. Okay, so bring the hula hoop back to the center with the hands at the side and we just want to bring the hoop up and down super, super flat um, and keep the hula hoop as nice and even as possible. You can stay here or you can wind it up and just bring it up and down on your sides. You can turn around in a circle. This is a really beautiful but simple move and I love using this on my hula hoop routines. Let's reverse it, let's go back the other way. And keeping the hula hoop as flat as possible as you turn in your circle and bring it up and down. So these are the moves for the workout today. Uh, remember you can do this workout sitting down if you want to with the modified versions and also we're always working with the realms of what feels comfortable and good for you. We're here to have fun, so next we're gonna get moving to the music. So we want to start with our hula hoop in front of us and bring it out to the side and then back in front again. Take it with the other hand and then back to our front again. Take it with the other hand. Remember both wrists facing up for this movement. Okay, next we take it all the way over. Take it down with the left hand and then back up with the left. Take it in the right and down. Back up with the right. Take it down with the left, last full circle over to the right. Now bring it up with the right, meet with the left and then hold it here and we let the hula hoop fall down. Fantastic. I take my right hand down, left arm on top and we are going to push the hula hoop with the left hand. Now right arm is on top and again push, left arm on top and push right arm on top. Now readjust your hands and we go for this uh, modified isolation here as you push against the hula hoop and bring alternating hands on top of your head. Try and keep the hula hoop in the same space, same place and space as we readjust our hands, hands on the outside now and we bring the hoop up above our head. Remember really feel this in the core Hold your abs as you bring it up and down. So really strengthen your core muscles and your back. Bring it up, you can look up to the sky, you'll keep one point of focus. And we go to the side now, starting with the left, to the front, to the right. Remember you can bend one knee, if that makes it easier for you. Or you can do this seated. Okay, return to center. Take it to the bow and arrow shape to the right and then a big circle all the way around. Then reverse your circle all the way around and reverse it. We continue this move. Again, you really want to feel this in your core. You can hold your abs as you use this to power your arms in this movement, rotating the hula hoop in large circles and in this kind of bow and arrow shape when we get to the side. We want strong arms here. Keep on taking your circle, reverse it, bring it to the front, strong arms, and then we bring the hoop up and over our head, and then in front of us again. Bring the hoop up and over the head, and then in front again. 
final lift before we change. Up here we want to readjust our hands and bring it down in the twist. And then bring it back up to its twisted high position. Rotate up here and then bring it back down to the left as you rotate down. Let's do that again. Back up and rotating to the right. Twist up here to the left and then bring the hula hoop down and to the right. Now prepare, we're going to bring the hula hoop up and down here. So, twist it around and bring it up as we turn our bodies around. We can just do this in small steps or keep our body stationary if we're sitting down. Bring it up again and down. And as usual, we're going to reverse our circle, so we go the other way, and hopefully not get too dizzy, as we turn around, bringing the hula hoop up and down. Okay. And then bring the hula hoop back to our front. We want to readjust our hands here, so bringing our hands to the outside of the hula hoop, we want to feel strong in our arms and our abs as we twist to the left, then back to the front and all the way over to the right. Bring the hula hoop back to the front and we take it to our bow and arrow before we do big circles again. All the way around and then reverse it. All the way around to the bow and arrow on the other side and reverse it. Big circles guys and then bring the hula hoop down to the front. Prepare for big circles by turning your wrists facing out and then we'll take the hula hoop in the right hand over the head and then down with the left. Back up with the left and down with the right. Let's do that again, all the way around. And then bring it up for pushing the hula hoop push. And then now my right arm is on top. And then we push the hula hoop, left arm on top. And then push the hula hoop, right arm on top. From here we want to readjust our hands flat on the hula hoop as we do this modified uh, isolation move. Bring it to the side, keeping the hula hoop in the same place the whole time. Really slow it down with the music now. Bring your last arm on top, we're going to freeze and then push the hula hoop down and we're done. Well done guys. So thanks for hooping with me today. Let me know what you think. 